What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. We have a very special guest appearing on our channel again today, and that is... Who? Dr. Cellini's wife. <laughs> my better half. And we are at the Biltmore Estate in Asheville because... We're taking advantage of a weekend off together. Which and because, is very rare. Yeah, and because why not? So we're just walking around the garden. Hi, <laughs> pal. So we are just walking around the gardens right now and enjoying this almost beautiful day. Even though it ended up raining a little bit. But we're taking full advantage. It rained a little bit, but it's still nice enough to walk around and enjoy the foliage, if you will. So I don't really know what we're doing on this vlog, but I figured I might as well get the camera out so you guys can enjoy this beautiful place as well. Welcome to the Biltmore Estate. Where do you want to go next? Do you, do you have the map at all? I do. You want to tell us where we're going? Because I have no idea where we're going. Say it's actually pretty crowded given the fact that it is like kind of rainy I know it's a fall day and I know it's the start of fall and all the leaves are changing but those are kind of like the best days to go but these leaves though but these leaves though what's wrong I have rocks in my shoes these weren't the appropriate hiking sneakers yeah not exactly hiking appropriate not that this is a challenging hike right now. <laughs> and we officially made it to? The Biltmore. The Biltmore. A short three and a half hour drive to the Biltmore. And if you haven't ever seen the Biltmore, this is this enormous 125,000 square foot house right here, owned by the Vanderbilts. This is the Vanderbilts summer home. So anybody who needs a 125,000 square foot summer house. Go for this one. about staying at the inn on the Biltmore is that if you stay there you get a free shuttle to take you to and from the Biltmore or around the whole Biltmore estate and all that stuff. Look who ran to get it. Did you make it? I made it. We got it. She was running. To catch it. Biltmore, we came back and did a little wine tasting, and now we are getting an Uber to head downtown, to have a nice dinner together, and maybe go out for cocktails afterwards. Disregard the mess in the background, we have two double beds, so we just use one for our stuff and the other for sleeping. 
So there was no teen rooms available. We booked it last minute, as usual. And the entire hotel is completely full. So that's that. All right, off to dinner. And just like that, our one night stay is done. We are checking out. What are we about to do though? Go apple picking. Go apple picking or find an orchard if we can. Brunch and then go out. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is phenomenal. I think this will do. So we decided to make a little pit stop here at the Omni Park Grove Inn. No, what is it's it? Omni Grove Inn. Omni Grove Inn or Omni Park? No. Oh, Omni Grove Inn. Take a look at this place. It's literally crazy. So beautiful. All right, so we actually stayed at the Biltmore, as you guys know by now, but we wanted to stay here at the Omni Grove Park Inn or something like that, but it was completely sold out. But the reason we wanted to stay here was for these views, which if you haven't seen them, these are what I'm talking about. Just insane views. Like this. So basically we're just gonna have to make another trip up here to the mountains and stay here next time. So on our drive back, we decided to take the scenic route on the world famous Blue Ridge Parkway. The reason we did that was so that we could see amazing foliage like you see out here. And it's literally just gorgeous. We just pull off the side of the road and uh, take some photos and enjoy this beautiful view. And it's 60 degrees, which is even better. So we just got to the lookout portion. make it very far because we stop for this incredible scenery like every five minutes which is literally just gorgeous This one might be the best one. So we made a little pit stop off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Where are we going, hunt? The apple orchard. <laughs> we found a random apple orchard. The historic orchard at Alta Pass. Yes. Let's see what this is all about. <laughs> Straight up country. What did I tell you? They what told they? me they were out of apples for the season. <laughs> the apple orchard is out of apples. Let's go eat it outside. Yeah. 
So I think it's pretty hilarious that there are no apples left at the apple orchard, which is the whole reason we stopped here to begin with. And I know we've been kind of like all over the place on this vlog, but we basically stayed in Asheville for the night, went out there. So we decided to take the scenic route over to the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is like legendary, beautiful foliage and perfect for fall driving. So we took that and on the way we stopped at this apple orchard because Andrana had this like, all she wanted was to go to an apple orchard, pick apples, obviously take an Instagram worthy photo, but she really wanted to get a whole bunch of apples to make apple pie with. So we weren't able to go to any of the apple orchards by us. So we stopped at this one and there's no apples, which means no apple pie. <laughs> Wait, how upset are you that there's no apples? I'm very upset. This is an emotional time. <laughs> We're gonna have to buy an apple pie. So, Andrana made me stop because we saw this on the side of the road. Ooh, I like pink ladies, huh? How happy are you that you have your uh, apples? Very. Wait, what's the... We got to do a teaching moment here. Croatian word for apple. Yabuka, or yabuka, I yabuka. should say. So I realized we never really talked about what we thought about the Biltmore or staying at the inn at the Biltmore, which is the hotel on the property. I mean, we had a great time, but I don't think it quite warrants the super expensive price tag. So for our specific trip, we wanted to stay closer to the downtown area, but we kind of booked it last minute and there were no rooms available. So we decided to just go for it and go stay at the Biltmore Inn, which it's obviously like supposedly the best hotel in Asheville, but it wasn't exactly right for what we wanted to do while we were in Asheville because the Inn at the Biltmore is designed for someone who wants to stay on the property and enjoy all the things that the property has to offer, like the winery, the buffet, restaurant, horseback riding, all that good stuff. But we wanted to be closer to the downtown area because we had dinner reservations there and we also went to a cocktail bar down there as well. And so for us, it takes like five to 10 minutes to get off of the property and onto the main road. So it's almost like more of a hassle to leave the property. So I think it's great for families and couples who wanna just do everything on the property, but for us, it just wasn't right. So if we had to do it all over again, I would probably stay at the Omni Grove Park Inn or whatever it's called, which is the place I showed you just before this. The big orange, like, historic building with an amazing view. We tried to get that place first, but it was all sold out, of course. There's, like, so many weddings and all this stuff going on, and in, in the fall time, it's near impossible to get a good room at one of the popular hotels. So, nonetheless, we still enjoyed it. We had a fantastic time, but we probably won't be staying at the Biltmore again because it's a little on the pricey side. So we are happy we stayed there because we get to say that we stayed on the Biltmore Estate property and got to experience the Biltmore Estate and all that stuff, which is, it's actually, it's absolutely amazing and I think everybody should go see it. I mean, it's the biggest house in the entire US, so it's pretty cool. But since we just kind of wanted to do our own thing and go experience the downtown Asheville vibe, this probably wasn't the best choice for us. But again, still happy we stayed there. So that officially concludes this travel vlog in Asheville, North Carolina. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video or this kind of like travel style, also let me know in the comments below. We will do more in the future if you like it. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Otherwise, see you on Dr. Chilini's next video. Hit it. So that officially concludes. What are you putting your arm on my shoulder for? <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> I have rocks in my shoes.